welcome back to the episode last day on our survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen guys i'm your fan for fantastic day the most amazing variety as you guys can see our guys spazzing out a little bit uh there was something marvelous discovered in the community there's this new thing going on where uh well there's a little bit of a glitch so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to capitalize upon it's a glitch that can bring your speed up as much as you freaking wanted to look at my speed Dear God, do you guys want to see me move? I don't think you do. If I move, I will like, look, I teleported this poor man, right? This fast biter, watch. I'm going to teleport to him as soon as he tries to attack me. He gets in rage. Boink! Look at this! Look at this! This speed is absolute insane. So I hope you guys are obviously a fan for a fantastic day. Oh, the most amazing variety. But you guys are probably asking, Star, how in Tarnation do you literally go Super Saiyan here? Well, I'm literally going so fast that I have to crouch walk and I have to barely move. Like, if I, if I go all the way... I, I think I will like just literally, like, look at this, I'm teleporting to the zombies that are coming towards me. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. It's obviously a glitch that's gonna get patched. But in the meantime, I thought it'd be a very helpful glitch to go ahead and show you guys off because it's something that definitely could come in handy. Allows you to outrun the big one, for example, a couple things like that. And here's how you're gonna wanna do it. So it is going to require some tools such as the saw blade and or the sledgehammer. Again, huge shouts out to that shoe. Gato con fuerza is the one who discovered this originally, at least to my knowledge. Link to that video will be in the pinned comment as well if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. But here's how it is gonna be working. All right, it's gonna take a sledgehammer or a saw blade mason. To my knowledge, what you have to then do is begin searching a chest. Now, I search very fast, right? But then you're gonna wanna, I just, I just cancel the chest here. I'm gonna show you guys what happens, but you can cancel the chest before it gets all the way up to full by just swinging, attacking, and that will get rid of it, right? So this is important because what this glitch does is you guys can see I'm swapping in between these two, nothing's happening, right? But what happens is when you start looting a chest and then you start swapping between them, as you guys can see, uh, oh my God, we just glitched the speed. It's not supposed to go to four digits, dude. What in so Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? So it's definitely not supposed to be working like this, but this is how it's working. So hopefully this will be something that you guys can capitalize upon. I would not suggest going up to a thousand speed though, because, uh, well, it's A, it's literally broken, and B, it's it's just too much, man. Like, do you guys want to see me walk? But again, that's the way you're gonna be able to do it, and I just, I'm playing on an emulator, so I can actually hotkey, right, and then do all this stuff. I can swap between them, it's on, back out, and then swing, and then you can actually just keep on doing it on the same chest instead of having to find new chests every single time. But anyways, let's go ahead, actually see what's in here, because I was doing some glue looting runs in the middle. Listen, hey, we got a little bit more glue coming our way, and let's just go ahead and uh, teleport out of map. <laughs> <laughs> that is insanity dude how are we possibly going so fast so with this glitch the only way to actually get it patched up and to quote unquote fix the glitch is to die and let me just say you're probably not going to want at least if you if you go as far as i've gone i don't know if it's something that you're gonna want to uh, be diving into but after we mess around with this speed boost just a little bit more and have some more fun with it we are also gonna be going after the blind one and the red crates over in zabunka and trying to take them down i honestly like here's the thing we i think i do need to die because like you guys see how fast i go like if i'm crouching and i am like moving this as small as humanly possible look look at this look at this little look at this little jig i'm doing this is how this is the like if i go all the way I, i'm just telling you i'm gonna like teleport just doink look at that oh wait i'm crouching oh my god i found my way into the dogs hold on we got oh jesus okay hold on this is, as you guys can see crouching is a very important maneuver if you want to have at least some form of control over large amounts of speed but then if we stand up kamikaze <gasps> This is absolute insane. It's like I'm saying, hopefully you guys can make use of it. I actually love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. Any cool ideas or cool things you think that we could actually end up doing with this? Because I know that obviously having this much speed might be a bad thing. But as you guys were seeing, the speed was going up just a little bit at a time. Also, since we're crouching, it goes down to 373 instead of the usual 1029. But then if we go ahead and just run into here a little bit more. Okay, come on. Let's go back to crouching here. Just walk away a little bit. Boink! We're done. So we're going to respawn to a uh, not as weird amount of speed. We're going to have a normal amount of speed. But I'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below regarding what you think like we could end up using this for and usefully and just kind of definitely that comment ASAP down below. Because like I'm saying, with a glitch like this, as you guys can see, now we are walking normal speed. This just feels so... I feel like a snail after experiencing that. 
but let's go ahead and pick up everything that we have dropped we also do have another set of armors you guys are probably seeing that is because we're going to be going to hopefully take on some of the bigger enemies as well let's get that over there let's go ahead and equip ourselves some armor that's what i was trying to do and pick that up goodbye to you buddy but i'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below regarding what like any good uses any good things you think we could utilize this speed boost specifically to help us out with because like like i'm saying you don't need to go as crazy as i am but you can up it to like 50 speed and for example like outrun an enemy during a raid speaking of a raid why don't we go ahead and actually get one set up because that's exactly something that i would like to go ahead and get on to doing because y'all deserve a raid of the daily variety that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and pop off to do it because y'all already know how it works here y'all already know how it works we try to do raids absolutely as much as possible pretty much aim for the daily but occasionally we'll have that random video where we're just doing some other crazy stuff i don't have any new attachment crazy stuff to share mainly right now i'm just saving up i'm thinking for the extended mag for the pistol but i'm also eyeing some vss mods mainly the tactical stock which is why i was eyeing some glue which i was trying to collect but that's besides the point like i said definitely know in that comment section down below any uh, thoughts or ideas or good things like that that you think could be used for 44730 is going to be the code for today's bunker if that's our day by time you guys are attempting to put it in make sure to go ahead and check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version from our fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang and if it ain't there you can be the fan freaking fantastic person that puts it there to help out everyone in that time and area of need and a short amount of inventory management later you guys can see that we are ready and we're ready to go and start heading on over to the bunker as soon as we kill the blind one we'll actually have a red ticket crates open we're already going to be able to open up a yellow and a green hopefully acquiring more c4 potentially a floppiness from killing the blind one getting his bunker hard mode items to acquire some more c4 so this raid that we are plotting can be even more fan freaking fantastic than ever before but i'm gonna go ahead and mod the bejesus out of these to their best possible and conceivable state thanks to the elite shutter god do i love that thing but in the meantime reminder that, that comment that i was telling you guys about to go ahead and leave it's down below because i seriously would love to hear any thoughts any ideas like that but go ahead and leave anything that you would like in that comment section down below because reminder that comments push a third of the way it's will be your turn dollar at some such place store gift card give all you gotta do is well make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that you would on today's video go ahead and turn on every single last video one set of rules i'll pick right a video for the past week pick a random car for a video and set will be the video before the week and we'll kick off the weekend giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to never miss out an opportunity to enter the giveaway and check out the latest of last day on earth info updates gameplay dope glitches that will definitely be patched on the asap so like i'm saying let's get to use of this while we still can and let's get to brainstorming some dope uses for it too but all that type of jazz in addition to some other dope survival games actually today we posted the first episode of the dope survival game that we are hopping into for the very first time it's actually one that i have been seeing a lot across the comments yes lads and lasses i have listened the time has come for westland survival it is going to be available well in video form on the channel make sure to go ahead and give that a look ski doodle it is definitely it's looking very very promising long story short and here's what we're gonna go ahead and do we're going to the airdrop for a little bit of a double whammy because a i want to test if we can do the speed glitch at the airdrop b if we can i'd like the speed glitch a little bit not to 1000 in speed but a little bit so we can easily outrun anything and everything that dare come against us and there's always a chance that we get a handy dandy blueprint or even some lens from this airdrop because I, I just see the guys commenting in that comment section down below from the last video that you guys were finding lens across airdrops so i'm not crazy very reassuring news thank you guys i appreciate that my snipe gang but let's go and let's see if this airdrop has what we're looking for it, it feels so weird man I, I feel so slow but you know it's about to feel so great the insanity of this pistol look at how fast this dang thing shoots the only shutter turns this thing into a god and that's another reason that i want that extended bag because that will give us an extra plus sign in the speed department yeah i want my pistol to shoot even faster because currently it's doing well and i totally forgot god mm. Ah, my brain went on autopilot and i didn't check if i actually could do it during the airdrop looting Blah. well there that goes to show you the derp that y'all are watching i try i try this don't don't yeah dig it feels bad man <laughs> ah there's just too much awesomeness going on man between the pistol between the speed there's just there's just too much going on in my mind man for real the pistol is a godsend man i don't know about you guys but this elite shutter in addition with the comfortable mag and especially when we get the true extended mag whoo 
Nelly. Is that going to be a little bit of a doozy? Let's head on over to the limestone ridge, try to find ourselves a couple chests, maybe even a little bit of glue to help fuel our shenanigans of uh, hopefully some new weapon attachments. I'd love to work towards that fully modded Glock 17 of the absolute best variety because it can still get faster. I think it can still do more damage. And this thing's already a murder weapon. So I want to make it even more murderous. And hopefully we'll even get a look at, uh, what should I call some of those new... Uh, active mod active skill mods that we can put onto that thing in the form of a site hopefully we end up unlocking one of those because currently the sites on this thing are could be better could definitely be better but those two definitely seem like they're promising and doink to you i wish you know what should definitely be a thing especially with critical damage now being incorporated to the game if you're sneak attacking right i feel like a sneak attack shot at someone should be a guaranteed critical with a gun you know i mean let, feel free to let me know what you guys think about that but i think it makes sense if you can randomly get a critical i feel like if you have the time to like quote unquote sneak attack someone aka if they don't see you you have time to line up the perfect shot you know take your time it's not like you're shooting in the heat of battle it kind of makes sense for a critical chance to happen so let me know what you guys think about that as well but i think that that would be a pretty good usage of it but for now the only good usage that i'm worried about is uh, murder in u2 and then get it on over here so we can first things first we gotta start with one of these equipped i'm pretty sure let's do that let's get to glitch this out a little bit now i'm honestly just gonna glitch it out okay okie doke that's plenty of glitching for me my speed's up to 60 i am not just teleporting off the map instantly so definitely a better situation than we were at before i am i can't believe that i derped that airdrop that is my bad guys i'm just i don't know dude this speed glitch has just got me all sorts of hyper because well in game the speed glitch is making me ridiculously hyper you guys saw my speed i was over a thousand speed aka absolute insanity okay the highest speed you can normally get is like 45 with swap boots all right i did that times like 20 and let me just say you don't want to times it by 20 maybe times it by two even then that's a stretch but this speed that we're at right now, I like this speed. It's not too much. I can definitely still control the game. I go ahead and put the code info today to get us into the shenanigans. Confirmed, baby. Let's head on down. Let's get to popping some of these crates open. And then we must find and hunt down the blind fun. Hopefully, the amount of pistols we have here is great. That's the thing, too. The pistols end up shooting so fast, but technically speaking, they're still a quote-unquote semi-automatic weapon. So they do not suffer from recoil or stability problems. Like where they miss, pistols do not miss. And it's kind of the greatest thing in the existence of greatest things. I'm a huge fan. I don't know about you guys. I'm also a huge fan of walking this fast, man. It's just gonna make it's gonna make things a lot easier and a lot faster too. Maybe not a lot faster. But definitely a little bit faster and when we go on that raid later today we can see if we're actually able to properly kite and not worry about the big one hitting us let's go we got an engine part to continue stockpiling and save it up for that atv which appears to be it's on the horizon man like we've been seeing some of the atv action irl well not irl but we have seen some of it in game through the form of the live stream sneak peek that the devs did at this point man maybe like a month or two ago but we have seen some in game in development like in the progress footage of it we've seen some in progress footage of the swamp and uh, i i seriously think man after we get some of these other things like the radio tower and being able to chat through that which should be the next update that we're getting within the next couple of days but in addition to that also the farm i'm thinking after that is prime time for that puppy to drop i don't have any bloopers to drop into there and i don't have anything to give to you yet but that might be changing very soon for now the only thing that i'm changing is the color of the tickets that we're opening we're switching on on the yellow and get on over here your yellow crate even though you're actually green and all of these are green and let's go i like that too a couple of more fully automatic weapons to help us out with our struggles and engine parts 2.0 can't go wrong with that let's take all that we can let's i kind of want to equip some uh some of this armor i don't want to go through all my swap but yolo we're going through all the swap because we can run away from anything with this speed and i'm gonna make the most of it definitely gonna go ahead and put a couple of things away though and we'll have these med kits for when the blind one inevitably just poops on us we also got some band-aids we can put to use a little bit of water a little bit of beans to stay hydrated and these things i don't really need i can put those away but i'm guessing 
I mean, we should, I think these should work with anything. I guess I'll take them with so we can test if they work and stuff in the bunker. But if they do work and stuff in the bunker, I imagine anything that you have to kind of search in progress. I'm actually going to check that out right here. Let's uh, do this and then double click that and then double click these. And yeah, anything that you have to search, you should be able to do with. So even though I wasn't able to directly do it with the airdrop, given the fact it works on a random shelf in the bunker, I think anything that has that loading meter, if you rapidly switch between those two weapons, it should make some of that magic happen and is pretty magical. I'm taking that hammer too, actually, because that's that, uh, suspiciously enough, I think we need to put that into uh, some of the melee weapon mod recipes. So I don't know. I, I just remember specifically like there was one recipe that needed like five of them. So I'm just trying to stockpile and if I find them, I might as well grab them, you know, because I don't exactly have the most of them lying around. But God, do I love walking this fast. I never thought I'd be so excited to walk this fast in my life. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. What's up, people on the other side? Eat bullets! Recoil free bullets. And this is amazing. I can just easily, I can even outrun the fast biters. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, so easily the bunker runs and raids are going to be two things that you can definitely benefit from if you decide to utilize this glitch and like i'm saying this is definitely gonna get patched asap because this is redonkulously op and i think you guys are witnessing why and it's not a bad thing that kafir's patching this okay guys you have to understand if this isn't the game then the game is fundamentally broken because well we can just glitch the bejesus out of our speed right but in the meantime we can definitely enjoy it until it gets fixed you know i'm a fair man i'll look at it from both sides let's enjoy the bejesus out of all the speed that we want i'm just gonna drink some water i'm not bringing that with me till later fam we're looking good we got a not fully modded pistol but we do have a pistol with some of the best mods possible the elite shutter and the silencer two very good ones like i'm saying we can definitely get a better magazine definitely can get a better sight but hopefully we get those active skill sights i'm hoping we get those in the farm update i guess we'll kind of makes sense but at the same time i guess that could be another potential update before the atv update ends up dropping and actually that would be a good amount of spacing in between updates if we get the radio tower multiplayer update we get another multiplayer update before atv so i think the atv in the swamp which is going to lock a whole new section over in the west of the map that would make sense to be a big update so maybe 1.10 just because we're at 1.9 doesn't mean we're going to 2.0 next because the way that development numbers work and stuff is that it just kind of iterations based on how important of an update it is you know so like 1.8 to 1.9 is always a pretty big update like it's a pretty big overhaul like the weapon update for example but then something like 1.8.2 to 1.8.3 might be something smaller like uh i don't even remember what but like maybe like a slight new multiplayer feature like the chat in the radio tower that we should be acquiring but if we think about a couple of the updates that could come in between so like the chat and the radio update uh the farm now that active skills mod we have to take into account too maybe a couple small things they trickle in here and there atv shape it up like it could be the perfect 1.10 drop within a couple of months that's my best guess just based off of what we've been seeing in the past but all right let's get to seeing forward and let's get to booming on these exploders and on their toxic spitter brethren because i don't have to worry about well them actually catching up to me before toxic spitters were always a worry of catching up to you but now no longer i can kite these guys to a whole new level of effectiveness and as you guys are seeing the speed glitch has a lot of advantages i hope you all decide to go ahead and take advantage of it so while it is indeed a possibility let's get rid of all these parasites and i think someone did he drop something over here he did definitely not trying to leave that behind never mind that was me from last time littering on his dead body well is it littering if i leave it on a dead body you know at that point i feel like the dead body is the bigger issue than the littering but i'm not saying the littering is okay don't litter kids don't litter i like the world litter free it's a lot more fun when you don't have random water bottles smacking you in the face on nice walks down the beach that has never happened to me but i imagine that would be a side effect of littering you never know dude the wind when it picks something up Whew. remember that whole saying i always say go with the flow the wind is the flow baby the wind controls where we go but now all that i'm controlling is these bullets going straight into this turret and thinking he could impede my progress to the blind one i that is not possible it will not happen all that will happen is a tour to death and oh dude we could uh, i was gonna say i wonder if we could use this to help with the blind one but i don't think the speed boost is really gonna help with the blind one because you should only be attacking him after he charges into a wall anyway let's go we got a little bit of glue baby i know that doesn't seem hype it is though because i need the bejesus out of some glue for some of the things that i'm plotting um um um, um. what do we drop what do we drop what do we drop 
Honestly, how hungry are we? How much food did we lose? I'd rather... Oh, we need a lot of food. All right, YOLO. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this jerky, honestly. I can't eat the rest of this jerky. God dang it, I'll come back for the rest of the jerky on the way back. But I'm baking that up because that's gonna be a lot more useful than everything else. And then let's... I'm just gonna use the AK on these guys because I want to put that pistol... The full auto pistol. Well, not really full auto, but it's close. Well, not as close, but as close as we've gotten to a full auto pistol. Although the full auto glitch back in the day before the auto had a cooldown, that definitely made the pistol pretty fast. I seriously think with the right attachments and the elite shutter, we could seriously make the new weapon update Glock better than the uh, full auto glitch Glock. And if you, you guys might be confused by some of this terminology, but long story, yeah, like I said, long story short, the auto glitch that just made a lot of, a lot of things amazing. Mainly, shotgun rain! That was one of the most amazing things that I think humanity ever witnessed in that short amount of time. Let's get some miter in these toxic spitters. And yeah, the pistols are a great, great investment. If you guys ever do get pistol mods, I would highly recommend looking into those just because you got to take into account the fact that you will probably have, like when it comes to finding weapons, pistols are the most common weapon. And even then, especially with these right attachments, if every one of your pistols suddenly gets an elite shutter and a silencer, and especially like an extended mag and a couple other good things, pretty much every pistol you ever find is a god pistol and that is uh that's a pretty sweet deal if you ask me but for now the only deal that i'm worried about is dealing with the blind one to the loop blind one i don't think you've ever seen me this hyper but there's a first time for everything and i mean there's a first time for you beating me well actually no he beat me before but there's a first time for you beating me this month and today ain't gonna be that day. Actually, there's not gonna be a first time for you beating me this month, especially with this speed that I brought. Look at this. I don't even care if I'm over here. I just like super slow, like fleshy stuff. That doesn't affect me. I ain't even scared of that. I'm walking over here like it's a freaking stroll in the park. I don't care. I'm a boss just like that. And let's get him crashing into there. Let's get the dude some full auto pistol damage. And I mean, it shoots a fast. And you guys can see we're able to do right around 140 right around like 125 to 150 per volley a volley again being each one of his five hits that he does because he has to do five hits and then he charges into a wall and then we can unload on him we are getting absolutely negative critical hits there we go we got like one right there that's kind of nice i guess come on finish me off baby finish me off and then we can go back to shooting you straight in the face i know you enjoy it i enjoy it too it's my favorite pastime just kidding it's not sorry blind one there's better pastimes out there than shooting you but i hear you're a pretty cool dude but i ain't gonna let you heal just because i hear you're a pretty cool dude no 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 i'm gonna let you hopefully keep on dying hopefully he even gives us some of the uh whatchamacall some of the big bones i would love to get some of those from him let's also not accidentally run out of here that's definitely a real problem we got to worry about but dude these pistols are just mowing down this poor lad i'm so sorry blind one but Listen, I'm just over here minding my own business. I happened to walk into this room with flesh on the ground, dead bodies, all that jazz, and he just started attacking me for no reason. So I think you're the real bad guy in this situation, guy. Yeah, that's right. Get roasted, blind one. Oh, let's go get to healing. Nope. No, no, no. No heals when Dikembe star Dumbo is around. We probably got two volleys left before this lad falls, and as you guys can see, when the pistols get as marvelous as we have them, it's a very worthy investment. I seriously think, I know they might not be the most fabulous or the flashiest, but I seriously think the pistol mods might be one of the best parts of that weapon update, just because I think you guys could agree with what I'm saying, that pistols are the most accessible for almost all Last Down Earth players out of all the guns, because I feel like from the pistol, just all the guns just literally just keep on getting rarer and rarer, and the Blydon keeps on getting deader and deader. Thank you kindly for all those goodies, and thank you for the 30 red tickets. Let's pop that puppy open. Let's see if it has what we're searching for. Let's see if the red ticket crate of today has some C4 for Papa Star. And I don't care if I'm getting gas, but check this out, man. I'm, I'm over here looking like Usain Bolt just sprinting through these parts. Please don't notice me there, Mr. Frenzy Giant. Thank you kindly. And look at that. Already back to the start. That's another great thing, too. Like, even if you don't abuse the glitch to the point of having ridiculously high thousands of speed, I actually wonder how high that speed could go. I don't even want to find out, man. It took me a long time to get to 1,000 speed. If someone gets 10,000, whew. I mean, maybe if, if I got some free time, I might need to start trying to get towards 10,000, but that's going to be, I'm going to need a lot of free time if I want to get 10,000 speed, I feel like. Please, Mr. Chest, as tradition goes, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy! <gasps> Come on, just scroll up, scroll up, there we go, C4, baby! Let's get it, boy! That's what I like to see. Ooh, ooh! 
and a fully modded Kleshnikov 47. Today is marvelous day. I like today. Today is a good day, comrades. Uh, why don't we go ahead and put away some of these melee weapons because we have a better things to be grabbing. Exhibit A! High explosives for breaking through stone walls. We're about to use the bejesus out of that within a couple of minutes. Uh, exhibit number B, shotgun rain. Exhibit number C, the fully mounted Kalashnikov. And I'll come back for the tick I'll come. Mm, mm. I think that's all right. What does this thing have? An extended mag? Ooh. It does have an extended mag. I kind of want to mod an extended mag Glock and see just how good it gets. So I'll leave those behind. I will come back for those two. And then we have the fresh set of SWAT. I'll just put on the fresh one for now. Nah. I should just keep on using this one. And then because this raid, I don't know. If we use this during the raid we're about to do, it's going to get down in half. And then we're just going to have two half durabilities, you know. But I think the amount that we have left should be plenty for a revenge raid that we're about to do. So all in all, pretty Gucci. Oh, yeah. And we still have to drop off a couple of these things to the guy over here, Mr. Specialist. And I'm guessing within the next time that we come here, there's going to be a floppy disk in our future. Especially with those. That's looking like prime floppy disk territory in one business visit. I don't know why I said business visit. I was thinking business days because I was having a package shipped to me. But Amazon hasn't decided to bring it to my doorstep yet. Be bummed about that, man. Be bummed. And honestly, I'll use up a bandage. I'll leave these behind. I'll actually, how many of these? Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind, never mind. Band-aids can stay. Ooh, and we got another thing right there. Marvelous. The dingusness of star has come out on top. I'm bringing more home with me, baby. And why don't we grab some of those and all in all, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, I like this. Like I'm saying, we'll come back for those, but as always, doesn't it just make sense to bring the best stuff first, just in case, you know, you happen to have that, that tragic goldfish memory. I don't know anyone who has goldfish memory. I, I don't know, like maybe some guy starts a star and says with snipe, but it's just a rumor. But uh, yeah, hopefully that goldfish memory doesn't come back to bite us. But in case it does, that's why I was just like grabbing the most valuable things that we can. And we have airdrop 2.0, so YOLO. Let's drive over there. I do want to showcase the speed glitch in its fullest. And if it is at all possible to do, I put the stuff away. God dang it. All right, well, I'm just going to the airdrop for fun. That dude, this airdrop has just been the bane of my existence. This airdrop is making me look like a fool first i forget to do the glitch during it next i forget well that i kind of put the weapons away because they're like half durability so i'd rather grab some like full durability guns you know what i mean but with our new speed and our new leaf tier yes i don't know what do you guys think i seriously think that the pistol mods are the best possible mods i know that they might not be the best weapon but it's when you take everything into account the speed that this thing gets and all that and we're about to mod that extended mag one too i'm very curious about the extended mag one and uh i don't know i'm not grabbing that sledgehammer i still got a couple sledgehammers at home and our inventory is already full with some dank loot over from that crate but uh, mister uh, what is what is his name mister Rafael, i am coming for you soon don't worry buddy i'm gonna go ahead organize my inventory and rendezvous with y'all a and a short amount of inventory management later here we are couple hatchets to go couple more to go ahead and craft up of the iron variety and then we set out upon unfortunately not a revenge raid it doesn't appear that the game wanted to give us one we are still at four skulls of attack though so it means that i don't know usually what happens i think every time you lose a skull there's a chance of you actually getting raided that seems to be the way that it works. Maybe you guys have a better understanding than that than I do. But from what I've noticed and from the pure amount of raids we're doing, that appears to be the case. When it goes down, you either get raided or you don't. So that means we still haven't been attempted or like had a potential raid since uh, I, I, yesterday. So we might still have a revenge raid coming our way soon. And if not, we're about to go out on another one too. Well, a normal raid that will hopefully continue keeping our notoriety and our, uh, well, I don't, I always want to call them like GTA stars because every time I think of like doing stupid stuff until things hate you more, I think GTA and the cops because I'm just used to having five stars all the time with my tank that I roll around with. But for now, we got to focus upon what we're going to roll around with to this raid. I think that I have the perfect solution here. We have the extendo mag. What we're going to do is go ahead and put a couple of the, I'm leaving the AK, eh, no, 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 we're today. 
the the prime show of today is I think showing off these Glocks in a raid situation because they're marvelous like that. We got the C4, we got one chill in our chopper ready to go as well. So let's just go ahead and modify this. And I want to see with the extended mag just how fast the right combination of things can be. This doesn't increase the speed or anything, but that elite shutter does bring it up quite a good amount. And oh, Nelly. Oh, Nell, is that a beauty? Yeah, I, we, we do need to get that mod, really. But I, how expensive is it going to be, actually, to get this? Should be too crazy, right? Yeah, we just got to get some weapon parts. So we got to continue scrapping weapons, which, I mean, it's leaving us with a lot of inventory room, which is good, because inventory room was always a huge problem of mine. But I don't like the fact that we're using so many weapons. I think that goes without saying. The speed is literally 4.0. I think we got to start the show off with one of this. So we'll let this one break whenever those enemies start coming for us. We got the 2C4 ready to go. A little bit more gas. It's right in time, baby. Rafael, your time has come. I'm sorry. It is time for Papa Star. Come and do a little bit of a raid. Rafao, I'm coming. And dude, ooh. I just saw that thing pop up, right? I know you guys are probably confused what I'm talking about. But like the skills, and I just remembered. We are at max the skills over here for this too, man. God, does that feel good. And especially because there's a couple of like interesting skills here. Like uh, the burglar, where we pick locks 35% faster, which is open chests. 35% faster. And that's actually the reason. Uh, so when you guys are doing the speed glitch, if and when you decide to do it, you will probably have more time than I did because I literally had to worry about the fact that I opened things 35% faster, but feels good to have two locations maxed out. Hopefully next on the smorgasbord, we got the limestone ridge and I don't know, man, we get, we still got to get that ATV driver from up north. Actually that, ah, it's going to be a doozy to get, but we still got some time before that comes, but definitely something we got to worry about. But for now, all that I'm worried about is seeing how amazing that 4.0 speed pistol is because if we deck it out right i think we can get it to do like 20 to 25 damage too plus all the critical boosts like these guns are yoked man and ooh, ooh, look who doesn't have to use any c4 today this guy that you're hearing talk right now through your earphones that's right i know you're wearing earphones except all the people who aren't wearing earphones right now but the half of you that are, are probably super freaked out that I can see the future. The other half, just don't say anything. Just go with it. All right, just, just, just chill a little bit. <laughs> but we got both of our C4 away, so we don't have to worry about accidentally using that. Let's patrol the perimeter. Can't wait to see if this is fast enough to outrun the big one because with the speed glitch, if you can outrun the big one, that is a huge, huge deal if handled properly. Now, it looks like he just kind of trapped something in there. My best guess is the type of raid this is going to be. If I had to take a wild, wild guess, also, it's okay. I thought I just want to make sure if we're using a level two hatchet, we're using the lowest durability one first. Guessing that the type of raid this one's gonna be just from I don't know, man, the size of the base. I'm guessing it's just gonna be someone who got an electronic circuit. I mean, it could be more. I really hope it is more. But my best guess is gonna be someone who got the electronic circuit like starter pack for the one year anniversary of last day on our survival and just didn't okay, 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 you caught my interest game. I like these because in my eyes, these aren't unmodded Glocks. Those are Glocks waiting to become fully modded because as soon as we unlock those mods, man, every single thing we ever find will be modified in that same fashion. Might as well pick up some zip guns so we get something better, but looks like today's raid. I'm sorry for doubting you, raid. Do you also have some electronic circuits you'd like to share? Ooh, they do, they do, they do. And check it, check it, boys. More than fast enough to outrun these enemies in the raid situation. Let's just go ahead and start blowing through some of these pistolas. Let's deal with the fast bipeders first over here. Boop. And here we got the speed. This is the four speed, even faster pistol. How fast do you shoot? Dear God, it's definitely not like, it's not like super noticeable, but I, it's wrecking some noobs. The noobs in this case being zombies. Zombies, I'm sorry to call you guys noobs, but you can't really get mad at me because you're about to be dead in like three seconds anyway, right? So I, I'm sorry for calling you a noob there, but uh, my pistol is absolutely opponent you right now. Let's, uh, so what is this? Chest number two. Thank you, electronic circuit. I'll take the bejesus out of that. What else we got? We still got a ton of chests to get to breaking through. Let's make sure 
that before the goldfish syndrome kicks in and my memory is completely erased men in black style of the last i don't know 30 seconds as usually happens let's make sure that we put away some of the most sought after goods the ones that the raiders are going to want a big cut of they value the electronic circuit a lot so i'm putting that in my chopper because if something's in your chopper it doesn't exist to the raiders when they ask for their half of the raid you know so i'm gonna capitalize upon that i i pretty like this this guy just has a zombie chilling here man i, I feel like he hired this zombie to protect his base, and the zombie just did an awful job. What, what a bad friend, man. No, he's, the zombie's trying. He just happens to be surrounded by walls, which probably isn't his case. You know what? I should let this zombie free. Ooh, I think that might be my goal. I need to be the zombie freedom fighter. How I will not stand for such injustices against zombies, all right? The only injustice allowed is mitering them, because that is... Uh, well, I don't know. They, they like came back from the dead, so they're probably not too happy about like being undead and stuff, you know? I mean, think about it. If you're zombified, A, you probably didn't want to be zombified, and B, you probably want to like rest in peace at that point, you know? But that's just me saying. So really, I'm not, there's no way I could be the bad guy. I'm just over, I'm helping these zombies out. I'm helping them reach, uh, I, I, it's, it's not being undead anymore. I, I just, I just feel like being undead would suck, you know? Because, I don't know. I feel like zombies' only goal in life is brains, you know? And I don't know. Whenever I'm going about my goals in life, I don't think brains are that high up on the list. But if you're a zombie man, like, you don't have a choice. Brains is the number one thing on your list, all right? Zombies ain't over here trying to master tic-tac-toe and become a grandmaster at chess, right? No, 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 no. They're out here just trying to devour brains. So it's a pretty big uh, limitation, but I, I take that into account. And I, I'm really just trying to be a helpful dude over here, you know? Dang it. We're breaking some tools, but that does open up some more room for some stuff that we should be acquiring over here. And the acquisition is not going too well. We have one chest left to go. Will this be the chest filled to the brim with the amazing things? Nope. Not at all. That's a little bit poopy. What isn't poopy is... Well, I don't know what is in Poopy. At this point, I didn't see any standout items. That's always what I try to do. I always try to get the absolute cream of the crop first. And then I'll go back and start picking up some of the kind of... Oh, no! Oh, luckily, I got a little bit of baked beans. My beans are always there for me, man. I ain't never had a friend as good as my beans. They're always there whenever I need them. When I need a shoulder to cry on. When I need uh, some food to eat. That's yeah, about the two things. All right, let, I, let's just delete that first thing. I don't cry on beans. Let's let's take that off the public record. <laughs> I kid, I kid. It's a yolk. It's a yolk. Just like uh, the yolk of the rest of the stuff in this guy's base. Nothing really, no home runs here in terms of like loot, you know? Like he's got a couple of good things, but it's not like they're full stacks of good things. And uh, at least at our stage in the game, us personally, a lot of this stuff, we already have a solid stockpile of, so I'm always trying to find, like, stuff a little bit rare. I mean, I love it to steal an ATV, but that's just a building kit for it. If I could just steal a fully functioning ATV, oh, nail it! My inventory would be full of them at this point. Oh, let's might as well grab ourselves a stack of that. Um, I think we're looking pretty good from that chest, although I did see some of those we could grab, and then what we're seeing out of this chest... Uh, He's got some carrots. I might as well. I, I'm, I'm stealing your food and hydration. I hope that's okay. Let's eat all the carrots do we can. Bada bing, bada boom. Um. I mean, I guess we could keep on looking around a little bit. See if maybe he's got something like semi valuable over in these things. Because, I mean, we got some noise to spare. I'm not in like a huge rush. Oh, no, no, no. But the zombies are coming. Do I want to deal with them? So be it. It's more of a test. Oh, no, the zombie. Oh, you distracted me. It's more of a test runner for this beautiful pistol we're using in all of its glory and fastness. And God, I can't wait till we have the best. Nay, the God pistol, as it will be known. Although, I don't think. I don't know, man. We seriously need those, like, active skill sites to come in. Like, the extra, the extremely rare sites that technically you can't get yet because no one has gotten them yet. The ones with stars next to them. Those are the ones I'm talking about. And I can only imagine how godly they must be. And since the sites aren't that amazing on a pistol and they probably grant us an active skill, it's something that I want pretty freaking badly. Uh, just like I want to break into this and hopefully get something good. But nope. Not looking as good as I was hoping. Honestly, I, 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 okay, we can break through this for our last thing, but then I want to save a little bit of noise, and you know what? 
dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll steal some iron over here. I'll steal it instead of that. And oh, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold door, hold door. Never mind. The wood's coming home with me, baby. And I'm gonna use the last bits of my uh, noise. I was gonna say axe for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. I got a lot of axes. The last bit of my noise to do a good deed. Guys and gals always try to do good deeds out there. And this zombie, as evil as he might be. He doesn't deserve to be trapped like a caged animal, Mr. Zombie! I am freeing you! Be free, my young ones! Be free! Yes, that's right, come this way. As they're already, see, they already know. They want to get away from this base. It's beautiful, man. I just did such a beautiful deed. Hopefully you guys are doing beautiful beads. Nay, not beads, deeds. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are messing around with beads, maybe making some cool arts and crafts stuff, that's that's dank delicious too. I do beads are as dope as it gets. But if you guys are doing some dope deeds out there, nay, some fat freaking fantastic deeds out there. I appreciate it a ton, and I'm sure anyone who you're doing it for appreciates the bejesus out of it as well. But with that said, and with that done, that is gonna go ahead and start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. This extremely fast, not in life length but uh in how quickly we're moving episode of last hour's found that you guys did enjoy can't wait to y'all gotta say that comment section down below about all of them things that i was asking y'all about today but in the meantime and best look at the giveaway as well remember a comment down below leave a like on the video make sure you're subscribed and i mean if you're already doing all that hit that notification bell too so you never miss out but that's gonna go and start wrapping up for me for now best of luck to you guys and gals get into your chopper gas tank enjoy it the chopper squad best of luck breeding your pups getting the true friend protecting your base so lock in all of the best weapon attachments and building them imaginable best luck leveling up your perks and gain the best of those going out upon your raids defeating the bosses of the game getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan for fantastic day as well but that's gonna do it for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya